Hi everybody, welcome back to The Belt and Bond. It's Michelle here and today's video is all about how I pack for my little toddler, Scotland. We are going on a trip to see family back home in South Carolina and what I like to do is obviously just head on in his room and start kind of going through his closet to pick out the clothes and outfits that I want him to wear while we're traveling. I keep everything organized by size and right now, He's pretty much wearing 18 month clothing or 18 to 24 months and I'm just picking out some of the outfits I want him to wear. We are going to the zoo so I do have a specific outfit for that day because it's going to be his first trip to the zoo. Once I get out his clothes from the closet, I keep most of his shorts in the drawers of his dresser. So I'm just digging around in there to see what shorts I want him to wear. And in the next drawer, I have all of his shirts. So I like to lay everything out and kind of match the shirts and the shorts together and to just kind of see what matches best with what and put them together. Once that's done, it's time to get him some pajamas. And for this trip, we were leaving on a Tuesday and we came back on Sunday. So I did end up taking two pairs of PJs just in case he had any accidents or something happened and we needed to change them up. So once I have all of those, I like to kind of go ahead and stack them up and make sure that they're all nice and neat. And I like to bring everything that I have into our guest bedroom because that just gives me a nice neat space to put everything where I need it to be. Some swimming clothes because my dad does have a pool. Okay guys, so once I have everything kind of in this room, I just like to pack it all up and put it in his room. And this is actually a duffel bag that I got from a teacher that I mentored. It's the um, AKA bag, ski -wee but um this is what i used the last time we went to south carolina i used it for scotland and it worked out really really well everything was able to fit so that's what i'm going to use this time okay so first i need to take all of this stuff well i'm gonna put these in here first so this is just his swim stuff i like to kind of fold everything up these are kind of folded a lot in his room but these are his kind of play clothes for each day and pajamas and his swim stuff my um dad has a pool in the backyard and last time we got in the pool, so I'm sure this time we're going to do that also. Just going to put those in there. And these are in his closet, so let me take these off the hanger. I'm sure you guys don't want to see that, so. So I went and um, added another outfit um, just for, I think, Friday. Friday, we're actually taking him to the zoo for the first time, so that's why he has like a kind of zoo-themed outfit. And then we're hanging out with BJ's family Friday night. So I needed him another outlet for that. And also when we travel, I like for him to be, you know, kind of in comfy cotton clothes. So either this will be his second outfit for Friday or when we travel back, this is what he'll wear. So it's going to be nice and comfy. But after all of the clothes are in, I can go ahead and get his shoes. And usually I'll just put those kind of, stand them up in the bag on the side. I'm only taking four pair. He may not wear them all, but look, he needs options. After the shoes, I'm going to do socks. The last time we went to South Carolina, I completely forgot his socks. Like, I was like, BJ, I didn't bring any socks. So he had to go to Target and get some. And I'm going to try and mostly take some of the solid color ones, um, just like black, khaki, some red, some brown. Um, he wears a lot of blue. He wears a lot of... I guess like blue and gray and then just different color shirts so as long as the socks kind of match whatever shorts he's going to have on that day bj won't get too mad at me because when he doesn't match bj be fussing at me but he'll be all right he's not packing i am so i overpack for socks it's just have it look at these these are so tiny these are like his baby baby socks so obviously he can't fit those anymore but the socks, I think I'm actually going to just put in this little side pocket. 
I love this duffel bag because it has so many pockets of things. So don't let me forget, I put the socks right here. So that's where his socks are going. I'm gonna throw another pair in there. Like once I start, I just can't stop because you never know. Um, so yeah, those are socks. And then I'm gonna pack his bath stuff. I'll put this in this side pocket. So over here, I'm gonna put his Johnson's Bedtime Baby Bath and Johnson's Bedtime Baby Lotion. This is the lavender scent, and it says it is proven um, routine, helps baby fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. Um, we use this every night. I haven't tried to like not use it to see if it doesn't work or not, because I'm just not gonna take those chances. So we use this and we travel with, we travel with like the full size ones because we just take what we use at home. But I'm going to put those in there. I'm also going to pack him some towels. And I mean like, yes, my dad has towels and stuff at his house, but I like to use these soft um, kind of baby ones for Scotland. We got so many towels at his baby shower. Like I haven't had to buy bath towels or bath washcloths for him at all. So, and I used to try to keep them all nice and neat in this bin that I keep them in. Like when I was pregnant and I was fixing up his nursery, I took all of the towels and like rolled them up all nice like this. They didn't say that way because they were in his room like where he could reach them. Now they're in his bathroom on the top, but still, anybody got time for that, okay? I got a 19 month old. Yeah, it's 19 months. So that's going in there. If this towel can fit, I love these hooded towels too. If this towel can fit, I'm gonna put this towel in that same pocket and try and zip it up. But I like to have everything in like different compartments and like the main stuff in the middle. Scotland absolutely loves brushing his teeth. So, I mean, even if he didn't, we would take his toothbrush and his toothpaste. But we have this, one of the teachers that I used to work with gave him a whole like dental hygiene um, kit. So it came with three toothbrushes that like kind of grow with him through the stages of his teething process. So we're going to take a toothbrush and this is Orgel training toothpaste with Elmo on it because he loves Elmo or Belbo as he calls him. I should probably get a bag and put this in separately. Who texted me? Who sent me a text like something? Okay, obviously with the 18 month old or 19 month old, he's not potty trained yet. We're working on it. You can say like babu, which means that he needs a boo-boo or is about to boo-boo, but when he sits on the toilet, he won't go. Um, so taking diapers. Um, we've been using Pampers brand, but honestly, these loves were cheaper and I was like, dang, I've been doing this wrong for like, um, 18 months, but we got loves. I think these were a 92 pack for $24. Pampers had a 96 pack. No, it was, these were like $22.49, I think in Target for 92. Pampers had a 96 pack for $34, $34.99. I was like, yeah, we're going with the loves. And as far as clothing and things, that is pretty much it. So let me show you what it looks like inside of the suitcase. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I just have all of Scotland's clothes in the suitcase. Shoes are over there. Clothes are here. We're going um, on a Tuesday and coming back probably Saturday or Sunday. So I did pack some kind of extra outfits. I'll probably grab a couple more shirts, knowing me, just in case he has a little spill. And then the diapers just kind of fit on top and all of his clothes and things are packed. I do have a packing list that I use to kind of help me pack and I should have kept it from the last time, but this is kind of the stuff that I usually take with me and some of the stuff I still need to get. And I'll also take you along as I pack like his snack bag and what we kind of bring along for the road trip. So stay tuned for that. So when we travel, I like for Scotland's travel life to mirror his home life as much as possible. And yes, my dad has food at his house, which is where we're going. So most of the snacks that I'm packing are for our road trip. So I have to have Teddy Grahams because Scotland loves them. And I have to admit that I kind of like them too. I also pack some applesauce and I buy the Dole Fruit and 100% juice from Publix. So I pack some pears and some mandarin oranges because those are some of Scotland's favorites. I also got these Sunny Days Sesame Street snack bars in apple and strawberry flavor. And he eats these for breakfast sometimes, but I figured I would take some of them as well because when we're home, we're always out and about seeing friends and family. So this is also gonna be snacks for our little day trips as we're going to go see people. 
instead of making multiple stops on our about six hour drive to South Carolina, this time I decided to pack some snacks for both BJ and I as well. So I packed myself some almonds and raisins. The wavy chips are for BJ's and I don't know what I have. I had milk in or cow's milk in such a long time, but I was craving some cereal. No, we're not pregnant. So I got some Lucky Charms and those are gonna be coming with us too. Obviously, I'm not gonna take the whole bag, so I'm just separating out a little bit of it. I'm gonna put it in this little Ziploc bag, and we will be ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some tips on how to pack for your toddler. We'll see you guys in the next one, and remember to be bold, be blessed, and be bonded. See you guys next time.